Yo dudes, we got ML, woo woo, we got Andy Pandy, and we got Wanjay. Yay. <laughs> As some of you may well know from previous episodes, we bought this crown, when did we buy it, about two months ago? Yeah. Month and a half? Yeah. I want to say two weeks ago, but <laughs> time's gone on. The whole idea with the crown was to get a nice sort of daily car that we could uh, use like a sort of VIP show car. Uh, we can go to events, go to some meets and drive something which isn't horrendous on the road. The main objectives today with the Crown are, what are we doing? Taking the rear suspension off. The current springs are basically not designed for the car, so we've got a set of, what have we got? HSDs? HSDs, yeah. Which are off your old coilovers? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a new set of HSD springs to go on the back, which should make the ride a lot more comfortable. Because at the moment it's a bit fucking, yeah. bit crazy. And we're going to take the struts off, um, swap the springs over and hopefully it'll make the ride a little, little bit better. We're also going to raise the front up a little bit because it's super low and we're going to put some 10, what have we got, 10 mil or 15 mil uh, spacers? I think we've got like 5 and 10. 5 and 10. So yeah, we're going to put a little spacer on here just to sort of help the wheel sit a bit more flush with the arch. Um, we need to put a couple of bulbs in and that's it really, isn't it? Pretty much. Uh, and then a few basic things like wiring up the audio and getting the uh, centre console back in. Yeah. And, the pad and get the paddle shifts working. Yeah. <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not that much stuff. So yeah, as you know, this is an also. It's also got paddle shifts. They're not actually working at the moment. We just need to, to rewire them. But yeah, that'll be pretty cool. We'll make uh, doing a cheeky dug it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, this is the beast. Lots of lots of room for ladies in the back. What we're gonna do now is just chuck some fuel in the old girl because I think she's pretty much run out. Um, I just popped down to the petrol station and got twenty quid's worth of juice. So yeah, we're gonna chuck the juice in. Uh, get her up on the ramp and start taking the struts off. We'll have a quick, quick walk round of the old girl. It's got a nice set of twin tail pipes at the back. It's quite cool this car, it's actually got a, uh, a screamer pipe on it, so it's still running the stock single turbo on the 1JZ VVTi. But yeah, it's actually got a screamer pipe. As you guys will probably remember in the previous sound clip we did. But yeah, it sounds pretty cool. We'll quickly just run you through the engine spec before she goes on the ramp. Um, obviously it's the latest spec, 1JZ VVTi. Uh, single turbo, obviously lots of space here for a top mount turbo one day, but for now it's just got the, the standard single turbo. It's got an aftermarket air filter, um, Koyo radiator. It's got an HPI front mounted intercooler, which you can just see behind there, or through there. Uh, it's got an aftermarket exhaust, screamer pipe, and I think that's pretty much it for, for engine mods. What sort of horsepower should it be? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to have a bit of a mushroom head there, mate. A bit of a HKS <laughs> filter system. So, yeah. What sort of horsepower do you think it is, Mushroom Man? Uh, 300? Uh, push. Push? 280, 300 horsepower? Yeah, but more than, more than enough to do a dug it, yeah. I like to think. <laughs> Before I forget, the other thing we've got coming out is these lovely chrome gold Monkey London decals. These are going to be available for people we review, basically cars we review, or for anyone who pledges more than $10 on our Patreon. Um, so yeah, if you go to patreon.com forward slash Monkey London, you can see these on there. What's pretty cool about the crown, it's got a nice set of, uh, nice set of work VS's on there already. Could do with a sort of slight refurb, but they're not, not bad condition. Nice bit of, nice bit of dish out. It's got quite a few little cheeky accents around it. Nice chrome, chrome door handles. Got chrome pillar trims. It's very pimp. We're not sure if this is factory aero or if this is some sort of body kit. But yeah, if you're a bit of a, if you're a bit of a crown boffin, and you know, put a comment in the comment section. But yeah, it's got a nice sort of cheeky rear rear valance. Got a nice set of side skirts. Splitter on the front bumper as well. It does actually need to be painted. There's a few sort of cracks and marks in it, but yeah, we'll, we'll get it painted over time. And it's actually got a different grill as well. Apparently, this isn't the standard, standard uh, crown grill. It's a bit sort of Mercedes-like, isn't it, at the front, yeah, kind of? Yeah. So yeah, if you if you've got an idea on what the uh, the body kit is, feel free to put a comment in the comment section. The other thing we the other thing we need to do is get a new battery because the <laughs> Current one is fucked, and we also need to get a couple of new LED bulbs because the one of the brake lights isn't working. When the car came in from the docks, half the LEDs got stolen. So yeah, cheers, cheers, boys. Um, yeah, let's get the old girl, get the old girl in the air.
Right. Ye old crown is in the air. And he's going to just take the wheels off. Do like a bit of work. Nom nom. We're going to remove the strut, take these springs off, and then swap them out for these HSD springs here, which Andy's got going spare. There are seven kilo springs, so they should be a lot more forgiving. Got a massive boot, this. Definitely fit a few bodies in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to remove the boot interior so we can gain access to the turrets, top of the suspension, and undo the nuts. And in case you forget, it's a crown. Yeah. <laughs> we have removed the interior, nice and bare. So now we've got access to the struts and we can start removing the suspension. We'll find out. So yeah, what me and Andy are going to do, we're going to chuck the HSD springs on the back coilovers to see if it sort of softens it up a little bit. Um, worst case, we can always get a new set of coilovers if it doesn't work, but fingers crossed we'd rather go with the cheap option. That's the top mount. What do the bearings look like? Bearings are fine. S solid. I've cleaned that one out if you can look. Oh yeah, nice. It's all cleaned out inside. But yeah, that's the bearing inside the top hat, which seems to be in good nick. The shocks are shocks feel in pretty good condition from what we can tell. So hopefully these new improved springs should make a nice difference. So there we have it, they're the new HSD springs installed. Now it's a case of just chucking them back on the car. That's the coilover back in, so I've just got to do the um, drop link back up and the bottom bolt on the top mount nuts and we're good to go. So the coilovers are back on, we're just, going to, um, we're just going to lower the car down, see where it's sitting because the coilovers are at different heights on both sides we've noticed. Um, so yeah, lower it down, see where it's sitting and then we can make a few adjustments so it looks boss. We've got Jamie K on board. Yo, We got a new performance subwoofer. <laughs> it's my power. I didn't know you're into audio. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so that's a Wait. that's a new what's that for the PS? Yeah. That's a new swell pot for the one J. So yeah, these are Andy's new parts. He's got a set of BC cams for his one J, and he's also got a new Game Boy. <laughs> so when are we gonna go drifting? Also known as a hand power. controller for a power commander. Nom nom. Wow. Mr. Strong Flex has made a lovely new banner for Andy's workshop. Here she goes. Whoa, we got super lows. <laughs> it's fucking well low this side, man. <laughs> Looks fucking sick, though. What's the other side looking like? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's even lower. We are just measuring the coilovers because they're sitting quite low, so we need to adjust them up a little bit. So yeah, we're just going to measure, measure both sides and mm. make some make some adjustments. We've got five mil spaces to go on the front, uh, just to pull the wheel out a tiny bit because it does sort of stick a little bit in on the arch. So fingers crossed, those should make it look a bit better. Mm. All right, crunch time. Let's see if she sits any better. That's better. Def definitely better than where it was. I'd actually say it's a, it's a little bit higher than it was before. It is a little bit higher. But that's not a bad thing. I think that's... That's quite a nice level, that. Worst case, we can get a slightly chunkier tyre. The back suspension is all sorted now. It's a little bit higher than when it was before, but it's looking pretty fucking pimp. So yeah, what we're doing now, we're just removing one of the headlights. One of the HIDs is blown. So yeah, the boys are taking the headlight out and we're going to see what the fuck's going on and hopefully replace the bulb. Is that a factory? Why is there two ballasts? One oh, they've got HIDs at the bottom, haven't they? Yeah, for the spotlights down yeah. there. Oh, you good? Get in there. We've removed the headlight as well. And we've got one HID bulb that was blown, so yeah, gonna get a replacement one of those. 
And I'm also gonna get a couple of replacement uh, rear, rear lights. Uh, but yeah, the car's coming along nicely. So we're probably gonna shut up shop for this evening and carry on tomorrow, but yeah, the car's looking a lot happier at that ride height. Obviously, we've still got to raise the, the front a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a like, put any comments in the comment section, and yeah. <laughs>